Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, and it's day number 99 of giggling. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. 99. Um, I love that year. <laughs> it was such a good year. Um, like, when, whenever I hear the number 99, I automatically think of the year 99, and... <laughs> It just brings me back. So, um, 1999, it started off with a Backstreet Boys concert. <laughs> um, actually, so, uh, kind of, not really. Um, New Year's Eve, 1998, we went to the Backstreet Boys concert. And um, if you are a fan, you may, you probably <laughs> have seen this concert. Um on the video is the homecoming video so we went to that in Orlando it was the first time that I was in Orlando like at Christmas time and I thought it was so weird that it was hot I didn't like it um, I'm still not a huge fan of it being hot at Christmas time <laughs> but I uh, go to Orlando so much more now <laughs> anyway uh, so we went to Orlando for the concert uh, New Year's Eve and what they don't show you on the homecoming video is that they did a whole New Year's Eve countdown and they like dropped an orange because we were in Florida, whatever. And then they sang uh, Prince's party like it's 1999 because it was New Year's Eve going into 1999. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and I was in eighth grade. So, John Adams Middle School, class of 99. <laughs> Um, I guess the last one in the 1900s. <laughs> um, yeah, so eighth grade. <laughs> it was, it was a year. I didn't, it was honestly, academically, it was my worst year. It was really, it was a really bad year for me. <laughs> I was terrible at Spanish class, like really, really bad. Um, I got my worst grade ever and then then also they like between seventh grade and eighth grade they bumped me up in the math class from like regular level one to honors math and so the honors kids all did pre-algebra in seventh grade and algebra in eighth grade so and I didn't have pre-algebra and they just stuck me in the algebra class and I had no idea what was going on so I didn't really do that great so then I did algebra again in ninth grade <laughs> <laughs> but and then I I did really really well like a plus plus like over 100 average the kids were not happy with me because <laughs> I remember I walked into uh like art class or something and these kids were complaining they were like can you believe it um someone got a perfect score on the midterm and ruined the curve for everyone and I was like oh I can't imagine who would who would do something like that? It was me. I was the one. I got the perfect score. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did feel bad and I didn't tell anyone that it was me that got the perfect score, but I do remember that people were complaining about it. Anyway, so that was school things. Um, you know, I started high school, which was wild. I can't believe I was in high school. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I was just like a potato for definite a potato um <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing uh but yeah <laughs> um as far as like I still I was loving the Backstreet Boys um it, 1999 was such a good year for music I mean a millennium came out on May 18th 1999 and you know you had such great hits on that album like <clears throat> I wanted that way <laughs> I mean, okay, I want that way is like pretty low on my list of favorite Backstreet Boys songs. Like, they probably have over 200 songs, and I want it that way is like way at the bottom. <laughs> like, maybe from like 150 to 200. <laughs> but with that being said, I still get very excited if I hear it somewhere else. You think that I wasn't screaming when Big Time Rush was covering it last summer? Of course I was. I was losing my freaking mind. Um, 
But, I mean, that's, like, the quintessential Backstreet Boys song. But also, 99 brought us, you know, Living La Vida Loca and Santana and Rob Thomas with Smooth and, uh, you know, Genie in a Bottle and Britney Spears. I'm not sure which of her songs were 1999. Probably, maybe Oops, I Did It Again. No, that seems more 2000. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever she had. Maybe uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, it was such a fun year for music and like I just like into the millennium tour we went to a few of those it was so fun it was so cool like I mean imagine being what was I 14 I guess yeah I turned 14 that year uh I was 14 and just like be like the <laughs> like I mean now with concerts I'm I'm I, like, I still love them, and I still get very excited, but, like, at that moment in time, I just could not believe, like, I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that I was in the same room as the Backstreet Boys, <laughs> like, and then they, like, came flying out over the audience on their little surfboard things, and those white outfits that had the stage in the round in the middle, it was so, it was so cool, it was such a fun tour, um, like, I have so many great memories from, from that tour. Um, and then like 1999 also, I think of like, there's been so many songs <laughs> about 1999, um, because like, I mean, maybe not so many, but I know a couple. <laughs> so like Nick Carter has his song 19 and 99, um, because that's how old he was. <laughs> Um, and that's such a fun song. I think I played it the last time I hit 99, um, like, days in a row. So in 21, so you could, you know, go back and look for that. But, yeah, that's such a fun song. Um, I do love me some solo Nick Carter music. <laughs> Just because it's so silly and so fun. I mean, that wasn't around in 99, but the song is about 99, whatever. Um, and then there's a song that, um that Trevor has a, Trevor from Motown has a, like, <clears throat> feature on, is it just called 1999? It might be. I love that song. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, and I wish I could, I don't have, hold on, let me pause. Okay, I just went to go get my tablet so I can look up who sings this so you can, you can go look it up. But it's so fun. It's like, um, why am I drawing a blank right now? But it is the funnest song ever. And it's like, um, no, maybe it's, what is it called? Stuck in 1999? <laughs> Let's see, Trevor. I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sin City comes up when I freaking Google Trevor. What's the name of the song? I have it on all my playlists. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's so fun it's like and now I can't even like think of it to uh to like sing it for you <laughs> but like there's so many good 1999 references like um it's like my girlfriend would leave me if she met JT and she like she loves reruns of um friends and yeah, let me pause again and find the song and then we'll be okay. <laughs> Wait, it is just called 1999. I couldn't find it because um, my YouTube music account switched from my regular account that I use for YouTube music to my, like, this account, this YouTube, my Confessions of a Giggler, so it didn't have my music saved, so that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> Anyway, it is called 1999, and there are so many references in it. I forgot to mention that 1999 also brought us Summer Girls and Girl on TV by LFO, which are two bops, as the kids would say. <laughs> I just, I just love those songs. I love, I love all of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry. So yeah, it is called it is called 1999 featuring Trevor Pennick from O Town and the band that sings it is called Love Angeles. Um and this is what it looks like with the friends font. So, 
very very 1999 of it <laughs> um but like every time i listened to the song like there was an i found another reference to the 90s and how great 1999 was and it just it just makes me happy and i guess if you don't love 1999 then you might not love the song but <laughs> it's just a fun song so go go out there give it a try <laughs> um but yeah 1999 was just like just so carefree because you know what do you know when you're in eighth grade nothing you but you think you're cool I mean, I guess I didn't think I was cool because I know I'm not cool. Like I said, potato. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have a lot of pictures from this time because um, I just did not know what to do with myself. <laughs> Even though, like, I do, I did love the Backstreet Boys and stuff. And I was just like the weird boy band girl, honestly. But there are pictures of me from my sister's wedding, which happened in the year 2000, which is very close to 1999. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, this girl who <laughs> let her out of the house. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't even have any sort of glow up until I was in my 30s. <laughs> so... <laughs> And even even now I'm pretty potato like <laughs> um but yet uh 1999 <laughs> the year that was it was just like it was just such a such a fun time and it was just like you weren't bogged down by social media and you didn't really care what other people thought you just were kind of out there living your life and doing your thing you know I was going to dance class and going to Backstreet Boys concerts and I went to sleep watching that homecoming video every single night because I loved it. <laughs> and and if you have a keen eye, you could see me in the audience um, when they do the Hey Mr. DJ part. I know I'm like circling all around, but yeah, this was, this was a key moment for me in 1999 because they did the pay-per-view event and we all gathered to watch because we knew we were there and like we were just like laser focus to see anytime the camera went to where we were sitting we were like oh my gosh do they do we see us do we see us and like you really can you really can see me if you know that that's where I am <laughs> that's what I'm wearing <laughs> like uh, I'm there for sure <laughs> so in the hey Mr. DJ part when they um do the hey the hey side that's the side we're on like up in the 100s I'm there <laughs> Uh, my hair wasn't this white, but it was still blonde and I had a white like a white shirt on so It's easy for you to see me <laughs> And I was just as wide <laughs> Like a potato um, so yeah That's gonna be it for me for today and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you Bye